uh, ladies and gentlemen, what I thought we'd do now is have a little bit of fun. We're going to do some improv. Are you guys into that, huh? All right. I'm just going to pick people uh, from the crowd that are sort of close by to come and help me on stage. So let's get uh, someone right on the end here. Uh, how about uh, you? What's your name there, buddy? Scott. Scott. Big round of applause for Scott. He's coming on up. How you doing, Scott? Hello. Have a stand right up there by the microphone if you could. Uh, tell me, what do you do for a living, Scott? I'm a journalist. You're a journalist. Oh, are you a reviewer of some type? A reporter. A reporter. You can't maybe review me just for the hell of it? You're very funny. Right? Oh, thank you very much. Quote by Scott. All right. Uh, what I'm going to have you do for me, my friend, is uh, you're just going to uh, not have to do any talking. Just nice up and close on that. And you're going to supply all the sound effects for me in a scene. All right? Very good. So if I'm going to be opening up a door, what's that going to sound like? Very good. All right. And if I'm going to slam that shut... All right, let's hear it for that guy. Come on. All right, so what is uh, some sort of blue-collar job I can be engaging in? Postal worker. Uh, postal worker. All right. Uh, going door-to-door. Uh, -door. We'll start right from the beginning of a postal worker's day, and uh, you're going to be doing all the sound effects for me. Here we go. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Better get up. I can hear my alarm going off. ding ling 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 That's the phone. <laughs> Oh, yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, yeah, I slept in. I don't know what happened to the alarm. It didn't go off. Uh, but, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I'll get out of my route right away, sir. Yes, sir. I just better slam down the phone now. Uh, and it was a glass phone. I broke it. Thank God I only need to make one call a day. Oh, that's great. Oh, I better wake myself up. I'm a little groggy. I'll just turn on the water here. Splash some water in my face. Turn on the water faucet. <laughs> Not a lot of water pressure in this place. One drip at a time, that's all I need. A Canada Post guy doesn't need to smell good. Let's fish, 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 fish. Fish, 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 Wow. Fish. <laughs> I can almost see that sound. That's great. Okay, I'm going to head on out the front door. Here I go, out the front door, going off to work. Out the front door. <laughs> Man, the place is haunted. Holy smoke. Better slam it shut. Boom. All right. Uh, get the keys out to the big postal truck. Get the keys on out. Jingle, jingle, jingle. Very thorough and official. Yes, all right. Let's start this sucker up. <laughs> Yeah, they got the engine from an ice cream truck. It's just fine. <laughs> just starting it like a lawnmower, actually. Let me try that again. <laughs> All right. Now we're revving it up high. Get out of the way. I work for Canada Post. <laughs> this truck is equipped with features, I'll tell you that. There's the uh, majestic Canada Post building. Ah. Look at the birds chirping as they fly by. <laughs> Just the one. We live in the city. That's fine. Uh, there's my bag of mail. Whoa, I'm real heavy when I walk with this now. I think, I think my boss just slapped me. What do you want from me? I'm sorry I'm late. The alarm didn't go off. All right, I better get going to that first address. Go down that street. Here we go. Oh, it's a white. Better take it out of first. Uh, it's a quiet residential street. You can hear the kids playing outside. Ah! Oh, my God! I hit one of the kids with the postal truck! Damn it, if only I remembered my first aid, I'd have something here! Okay, we will end that right there. Right there.
We want to try a little something here. I want to do a little, uh, maybe a little thing with an audience member. Let's see. Who can I get? Uh, how about uh, who doesn't want to come up? Yes, you. What, what's your name? Linda. Big round of applause for Linda. She's coming up the stage. Come on, Linda. Come on, this way. Yeah, Linda. Thanks for coming up, Linda. Appreciate this. Uh, this is going to be really simple, Linda. It's going to be very easy. Having fun tonight? Yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, this is going to be so easy. All you got to do is stand behind me. I'm going to put my arms like this. You just kind of slip yours through and be my arms for a little scene, okay? We haven't started yet, but uh, <laughs> she's very eager, and that's half the battle, right? Okay. What is uh, something I can be an expert on? Anything besides sex? Because I don't know anything about it. Anything like uh, ba basketball? And how about an animal as well? Uh, uh, the tigers, tigers and basketball. Here we go. We're gonna put these two together and see what happens here. All right, yeah, I'm just sitting through. Hey, everybody, good to see you. Let me just wave to everyone there. Let me just wave. Hey, nice to see you. Good to see you people up in the back. Oh, gee, I'm a little itchy. Got a little, bit of, a little rash there. All right. Well, I'm gonna be talking to you people. That's right, you people. Me, I'm gonna be me. These are my nipples. Want to point? And that's my sternum. I'm just pointing out areas of my body. The clavicle, I think. I'm not too sure. But really, that's information that you don't need to know. Now, I've been an expert uh, basketball player for no basketball. Bouncing, bouncing, we're shooting the hoops. Bouncing, bouncing for a long time. A total of, oh, I don't know, a whoop. And I twirl it, too. I twirl it sometimes. Because I'm crazy like that. And uh, I've been doing this for a number of years. A total of, a uh, total of, let me show you how many years here. Come on, I don't, four, one, two, three. A total of uh, two, two, three, three, three years. Not really that very long, actually. I'm quite new to the whole thing. Anyway, so I, I crapped right out of basketball, and I decided I'm, I pumped my stomach. I got very nervous before every game, and I had to throw up. It was terrible. So I had to, oh, and then I'll massage myself, because that made me feel much better. Mm, yes. I could just touch myself all day. But really, that's not why I'm here. I've expanded. Now I'm the coach of a uh, Tigers playing basketball. That's right, Tigers. One day I was... <laughs> the international for symbol for Tigers or grabbing someone's breasts. It's the same thing. I was in the jungle one day. I was out hunting because I'm a hunter, an avid hunter. I was hunting with, with my bare claws and uh, I leaped on a tiger. And then he grabbed me, and he bounced my head, and then he threw it into the basket where I was keeping my, uh, my weapons for later. And it went in, and I said, two points. I went, two points. Right on. So I hired uh, a bunch of uh, uh, tigers and lions and bears and whatever else. And uh, the whole <laughs> wild kingdom, the whole thing. We've got to have a basketball uh, tournament that goes on. You can play, play basketball, and you can come watch. for. M and tickets are really cheap. They're only about uh, this many dollars. They're two bucks. And, or, or three. I guess two if you have a coupon, and that's how it works. But it's a huge franchise. I'm making moolah, tons of money. Moolah, moolah, moolah. Hand over fist, ladies and gentlemen. But it's... I guess that was a bad thought or something. I'm not sure. Let me just take off my glasses and tell you, this is very serious business, ladies and gentlemen, because these Tigers are going to take over the NBA... Let me just put these back on, I think, before I go. I'll be handing out pamphlets on my new league for Tigers. I'm not moving. <laughs> Safety is going to be the most important thing. I don't know if they're going to stay. Thanks very much, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.